Greenery Day is a national holiday in Japan that was celebrated on April the 29th every year from 1926 to 1989 until it was moved to the 4th of May from 2007 and onwards. The day centers around nature and the environment and people celebrate Greenery Day differently. For example, some people go on hikes, some go climbing and some take part in eco-friendly events. In 2005, in a place called Kagawa Ken, a prefecture of Japan, on the island of Shikoku, a bamboo shoot digging event was organised in the prefecture's Goshikadai forest as part of the celebration. The event started at 1pm. Yuki Onishi, five, her mother and her eight-year-old sister were among the 60 individuals who attended that day. Yuki was excited as any five-year-old would be, and 30 minutes into the event, she found her first bamboo shoot. She jumped for joy and told her mother she was off to find another one. Around 2pm, the digging was complete and the children were to meet their mother in the bamboo grove area. Yuki, on the other hand, did not show up. Yuki's mother was confused and began searching the area. She also asked those nearby to help and a large number of people began looking for the missing girl. When no one saw or heard from Yuki after an hour, the visitor centre contacted the police station and reported her missing at 3pm. Just before 4pm, police arrived on the scene. A total of 100 people scoured the grounds until 9pm, including visitors, community employees, police, volunteers and police dogs, but no one could find Yuki. Not only could no one find the girl, there was absolutely no trace. It was like she had vanished into thin air. Throughout the next few days, over 3,000 people were involved in the search for Yuki. She was described as being 3 foot 5, having black hair and a bob, and wearing a long orange and red striped jumper with a pink flowery hat. Yuki's scent was picked up by police dogs using her water bottle, and led from where she was digging for bamboo shoots to a specific region of the grove but the scent mysteriously vanished in the same place each time. Several police dogs were used and they all tracked the smell to the same location, but the trail went cold and no one knew where Yuki went next. The police did manage to find two witnesses who saw Yuki after she left her mother. The first was a man who saw her at 1.40 but did not speak to her. The other came in contact with her briefly after 1.30. She was a junior high school student that greeted her and spoke to her briefly. Both of these led to nothing. Police also interviewed many people who were there, but none of them had seen the missing child. Later that summer, police also emptied a nearby pond to see if she had accidentally fallen into it, but Yuki's body nor any of her belongings were discovered. To this day, there have been no significant clues or information to what could have happened to her, but there have been many theories. The first was that Yuki could have been taken by an animal. At first, many believed it could have been a large bird, but animal experts ruled out this possibility as they believe Yuki would have been too heavy. Others suggested bears or even monkeys. However, the experts also stated that people would have seen the animal or there would have been tracks or blood leading away from the scene. She also would have screamed, so this option is highly unlikely. Others suggested that she got lost in the forest. This, again, is unlikely. Police combed through the forest and found no trace of Yuki. If she had have gotten lost, it would have been more likely that she would have misplaced or ripped her clothes in the brush, but nothing was ever discovered. Another, more plausible idea is that Yuki was kidnapped and led away by someone traveling through the woodland. While the diggers saw nothing particularly strange, they did spot a man wandering around the area with a big large bag that could contain a child Yuki's size, although he may have been just a camper or a hiker. No one has ever been able to identify him and he has never been questioned. There were also no eyewitnesses who came forward stating that they saw a man carrying a little girl. To this day, there has been no closure and no one knows what happened to Yuki. Today, she would be 21 years old and although there has been no solid lead, her family and the police department have never given up hope. A website has been set up for Yuki, which I'll post in the comment section, and it has been urged, if you have any information at all, contact the Sakai Police Department, 
so that hopefully one day, Yuki can go home. <laughs>